So, this morning my monthly friend decided to pay me a visit. This video is going to be about my period. Just a little disclaimer. I don't want to hear about periods because I know some people get grossed out by them and I seriously don't understand why some people get grossed out by periods because it is a normal bodily function. Pretty much in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a lot of the stuff I do to make my period go a lot easier. I am 21, almost 22, and I've had my period since I was like 13 years old. Just recently, I have found so many things that help my period in so, so many ways that I will touch in this video. This morning, I woke up and I knew I was going to start my period today because it started, but for me personally, my period doesn't like fully fully start until I get cramps. I have had bad cramps my entire life. I have thrown up from my cramps. I had to leave school so many times and I called my dad like please pick me up. I'm in pain. I'm about to throw up. I'm a heavy flow gal. You know genetics were not the greatest for me and I have always had an extremely heavy flow like I'm talking like super plus tampons in an hour and I have been like that since I was 13. And I used to have it for a full seven days but honestly now it's like three to five days and I honestly think the stuff that I'm going to share with you guys in this video has helped with that. My period is lighter now. The last like three or four periods I have not used super tampons. I can't even tell you guys how it extremely crazy that is for me. And I also just want to throw out there, this is definitely the stuff that I have changed in like my period routine, not just with age, because I know a lot of people might be like, oh, well, you're 21, almost 22 now, it might be different from when you were a teenager. Obviously, yes, it actually got way heavier when I was like 20 years old, and this all changed drastically when I started doing this stuff. I'm going to do an Instacart, and the reason why I'm doing an Instacart is because I have recently started eating foods that are good for the specific cycle that I'm in. From my research, I am not a professional whatsoever. These are foods I like to implement in my diet within the one to five days of my cycle. So I start today and I do this for the next five days. I don't just eat this stuff, but I mainly eat this stuff and I do cut stuff out during this time. The groceries I'm gonna get are salmon, sweet potatoes, wild rice, hemp seeds, grass-fed ground beef, spinach, ground flax. I'm actually going to get groceries for the next days too, and that's follicular days. And those are days 6 to 13. Avocado, arugula, salads, chicken, pumpkin seeds, eggs, asparagus, and lentils. So I am still ready from my day. I want to get in comfy clothes. But before I do that, I need to like take a shower because I went out all day and I sweat all day long and my armpits smell. I feel, I feel disgusting. disgusting. On my period, I feel so gross. I don't know what it is. I have makeup on right now, but I mean, you can see, and you guys will see when I take my makeup off, my face isn't breaking out right now. Um, I don't know why, because my face always breaks out the week before my period, and then it's healing, and then like I pick at it, and then I break out again and then it's like healing and then it scars and then it goes away a little bit and then I break out again. This is the first time in like years that this has happened. I've been really good with my skincare routine though so maybe that's why. We're not gonna be doing that much self care though because I'm very run down, especially on the first day of my period. I am so low energy. So we're just gonna be doing like the stuff I do every day but I'm gonna be implementing a bath. If I have cramps where I am completely bent over in pain, I'm like on the verge of throwing up, I have to take a bath. Advil doesn't do it. A heating pad and eh. a bath is like truly the thing that will get rid of them. And after I'll still have them a teeny bit. Not even close though because the pain was so bad that I can't even feel them anymore. I actually made a mistake today, but I just want to tell you I got this coffee earlier today and I put ice in it and I was going to drink it. But then right when I did that, my cramps kicked in. So I will be throwing this away and I will not be drinking it. And honestly, I've just like learned to have self-control because it's not worth it. I cut out coffee on my period. It honestly sucks because I really love coffee. I will substitute it with matcha and tea. 
tea and I genuinely feel like it has helped me so much. I have a lot of gut issues. My hormones are crazy and balanced. I've been working on trying to balance them with eating specific foods and doing specific things because so many things can throw off your hormones. Also, I want to note, I am not on birth control. I haven't been on birth control for a fat minute, like maybe two years. That threw off my hormones and then made my periods even worse than they were before that. I know this is literally so much information I've just been talking the entire time of this video so far, but I feel like a lot of this information could help women and girls so much because I wish I knew this crap. If I knew this crap in high school, I swear I wouldn't have gone through horrible periods. I'm gonna get my hair unready and I'm actually gonna put some hair oil in. That has nothing to do with my period. I just need to do that because I'm gonna wash my hair today. And then I'm going to go get in the bath. In the small amount of time of me literally putting oil in my hair and braiding it and getting my bath ready, I am like overwhelmed by cramps. And I am in like boiling hot water because it's literally the only thing that makes them go away. I'm like, I know hot water is not good like for your skin. I don't care. This is the only thing that helps me is heat. And like after this, I'll probably have a heating pad on. I usually sit in here for like 20, 30 minutes and then I have to go take a shower because I'm gonna wash my hair. Since my cramps have set in, I have tea because when my cramps set in, I start to get really nauseous as well. I am also hungry and it's making the cramps worse. I really, really make sure I am doing my skincare routine really well because the week before, I always break out. When my face breaks, breaks out, I chill out on the active ingredient. And I have an entire video on my skincare routine. I do skin cycling. Sometimes you can't prevent breakouts on your period. Your hormones are doing things and that for a lot of people creates acne. Don't beat yourself up if you get acne before your period or on your period, because guess what? Majority of people have had acne in their lifetime and it's really not that big of a deal. My cramps are pretty much gone. I just like burn the cramps to death, honestly. And that's what works for me. Scientifically, the heat like helps the muscle calm its shit. Not as nauseous anymore. I can go make dinner. Yes, it's like 12 a.m., but I really don't want to go to bed without eating. It's not good to not eat in general, but it's really not good to not eat on your period. Already on my period, I'm a little bit more lightheaded sometimes. I can feel a little bit more weak, so I make the most effort to try and eat a little bit more clean, to eat things that are gonna give me a little bit more energy. On the first day of my period, I cannot wear tight clothing. I stay away from jeans, leggings. I'm going to wear the most comfy, loose sweatpants that I own because I cannot like put pressure on that area or it can like make my cramps worse. Yeah, bras during my period, not even existent. This is weird to talk about on the internet for me. I don't know why. These Johns have gone through a lot like especially like the last few months and I kind of just don't know why maybe like four months ago now or some crap on one of my periods I had really really bad boob pain and you know sometimes your boobs get bigger on your period my boobs grew I'm not joking two whole cup sizes and they just stayed that way for funsies I guess I have tender yiddies on my period I don't like bras in general now that they grew it's weird to not wear a bra because they're kind of saggy my life is just oversharing on the internet. I'm gonna go get a comfy outfit that is very loose. That's not going to be putting pressure on absolutely anything. Before I put on my pants, I need to put on like my feminine care products. 100% cotton, 96% cotton, but it, you get it. These are if I'm feeling spicy, you know? I'm not wearing a thong on my period. Bad things happen if I do. But you know what, let's be honest, if I'm not going anywhere, your girl has like a heavy flow. I, if I wanna sleep with a maxi pad on, yeah, get the granny panties out. You gotta do what you gotta do. I need you guys to hear me out. Don't judge really quickly. A lot of people judge really quickly on what I'm about to say. Hear me out. I recently started using reusable pads, okay? And I've seen a lot of things just saying like, I stopped using feminine care products. My period literally is like three days and it's super light. It's so insane how many chemicals and blah, 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 all that crap. And obviously people in the comments are like, well, what the hell do you use? I've seen people say they use like cotton cloths, but TikTok was like, 
I'm gonna put this on your For You page and you're gonna like it. This girl who has the company was reacting to like a big, big creator, pretty much like making fun of reusable pads. Mm, we don't like that negativity. I need to try this out to see if it's actually good. Also, super good for the environment. You know, like I was thinking, I'm like the amount of freaking waste. Switching to this, and I use other things as well. I think this is the biggest contributor to my period being so much lighter and my cramps not being as intense. Honestly time, I wear these at nighttime. I can't wear these out. I can hear them. It feels like I'm wearing a diaper, you know? Me personally, it's just not that comfy. I think I'm gonna use this one tonight because kind of matches my shirt. This is another one. No, this is not blood. I don't throw these in the washer. I will literally just wash these in my sink. Cold water, they come perfectly clean. And then I just let them air dry. Like, and I, I scrub them and stuff. I'm not gross. And they come so clean. I've used these multiple times. But yeah, so it goes on your underwear like this. Has little buttons. Kaylee, if you wear those at night, like what do you wear during the daytime? I have gone through so many brands. Tampons and pads. I'm a tampon girl. Hated pads because they were just so uncomfortable. Sometimes they can start to smell weird. I literally don't wear tampons anymore because if you are new to this channel, I'm so prone to UTIs, which I might add, I have not had one in so long and I think me doing everything that I'm saying in this video has helped so much. The tampons I was using for a long time literally like made my coochie burn, gave me UTIs at some point, but if I'm going swimming, if I want to wear a tight dress and I don't want to see my pad, if I'm wearing leggings, I'm gonna wear a tampon. Brand Honey Pot. I get them at Target. I don't know if they're sold everywhere. This is the only brand I use. It's organic. The main reason why I like them is their cotton. Their ingredients are the cleanest that I've seen that aren't extremely uncomfortable. A lot of organic ones I've tried do not work. And a lot of organic ones that I've tried have those cardboard applicators. That is sandpaper on my vaginal walls. It's not for me. I have a lot of sensory issues and I can't do that. So I have to stick with a plastic applicator. I have tried a menstrual cup. I am not even going to try the menstrual disc. I know there's like a million different kind of menstrual cups and they're too scary for me. I also always have nails on and those things are literally impossible for me to get out. Sticking things up my hoo-ha scares me. Tampons are the only thing I can do and sometimes that still freaks me out. For the pad, okay. They have some that I got by accident that are like mint and lavender. Hell no. I don't need essential oils and I don't need minty freshness on my cooter. I put this on and I was like, why is my vagina feel like I rubbed toothpaste all over it? And why does it burn? No fragrance. None. Because the fragrance just throws your pH balance off. And if you're getting stuff that smells good because your cooter might have an odd smell. I mean, it's not supposed to smell like freaking flowers. It's a cooter. Come on, let's be real people. If it smells off, your pH balance is probably off. You know, we're getting into a whole bunch of other stuff like yeast infections and crap like that. That's not this video. I'm gonna do all this and then I'm gonna make my food. It's not the next day that I filmed, it's the day after that. And yesterday was really a rest day for me. I just like was in one of those moods where I couldn't really do anything. But today I feel way better. We have our matcha instead of coffee. Of course, like a big glass of water to start the day. It's like an everyday thing, but it's like extremely important on my period to do that. Today is definitely gonna be more of a work day. On my period or the week before my period or both, I can get extremely tired and I'm just like really run down and I need to get more sleep than normal. I woke up a little bit later today 
and it is already 12. Really not in a breakfast mood. I'm literally going to have leftover fish and I'm waiting for my rice to cook right now. I will probably eat a lunch in a few hours and then a dinner because I still like to get three meals in. One thing that I think is important to touch on is working out. I don't really work out. I went for a run on the beach the other day and that was like the first time I've worked out in so long. For me personally, on my period, I'm much more out of breath. And I have seen things that say like your lungs work better later in your cycle. So that's like when you should do harder workouts. Okay. Definitely lighter workouts on your period. And I know some of you are thinking, there's no way in hell I'm gonna work out on my period. But there is a lot of stuff that says it can alleviate cramps, headaches, and it helps you be in a better mood if you deal with like being really irritable on your period. And I have noticed like when I go on walks or I do yoga during those times, it definitely does work. Pretty much for the rest of my period, I'm gonna eat cleaner. I'm gonna stay away from fast food, super greasy food, cut back on caffeine, no coffee. I'm gonna go on walks, maybe do a little bit of yoga, and get a little bit more sleep than normal. I hope someone found this video, one, entertaining I guess, but I hope this video helped people. You guys know I love to overshare on the internet. It's my brand at this point. Why not do it in a way that's gonna help people? I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I don't know if you like the way I put my words together But I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers More like Bruce and scales, hand to hand, dropping corn